Not me really going into this update, getting all hyped for the blotchy artifacts of the skin tones and ending up completely disappointed with that and happy with this update instead. The way that I switched. Hey everyone, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. I've got my fruit smoothie and it's so good. So the brand new patch update is here. Yes, it's finally here and many are actually pretty disappointed in it. Now, before you say anything, most of the skin tone improvements aren't expected to come until December. We're not supposed to get the skin tone slider, the makeup sliders, the new swatches until December. December, but according to the patch notes today and according to the statement that they released previously, they did say that the improvements are going to start with today's patch. And one of the improvements being fixing the blotchy artifacts on darker skin tones. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like those have been fixed, at least to me on my computer. I'm currently in my game and you can actually see between the Sims eyes, I do have her skin tone set to one of the darker skin tones. You can see a little bit of blotchiness between the eyes and you actually see it with most of the darker skin tones. You don't see it as much with some of the lighter variants. You can still see it a little bit here, but with this skin tone specifically, you can definitely see it's a little bit red between her eyes. It's like right above this point and right below this point, right under where my mouse cursor currently is. I don't know if you can see it well on your screen. If not, definitely recommend you turn the brightness up and zoom in a little bit. You'll definitely see it there. I'm just a little disappointed because I thought that they were going to be fixing that with this patch update. You know, I'm okay with waiting a few months for the extra skin tone swatches and for the sliders, but I thought that this definitely wouldn't be an issue with this patch, but it appears to be. So I did check my game settings and apparently this update will not work. So you won't really see the improvements with the blotchiness unless you have uncompressed sim textures checked off. If you don't have this checked off, then you are most likely going to have some issues, but I actually have this checked off. I have all of my settings on ultra. I'm in full screen mode. I'm in 2K resolution. My refresh rate is 144 Hertz. My settings are literally the highest that they possibly can be with my computer and my specs. And I'm still seeing that blotchiness there. So I don't know if this is an error on their end. I don't know if maybe they meant to say that they aren't going to be fixing any of this in today's patch and that all of it's going to be coming in December. I don't know what the deal is, but a little bit disappointed with that. In the patch notes, for today's patch, they write, in addition, you can read about the work we are doing addressing skin tone improvements here. The first steps of which are part of this release. We did a thorough investigation of our skin tone pipeline, how it gets from artist to player to identify where we can improve our process. For this release, we found the skin detail layer compression was one of our primary culprits for the blotchy artifacts and ashy appearance of darker skin tones. We have uncompressed those textures by default. That work, along Along with the option to uncompress sim textures will result in better visuals for your sims in game. The linked blog will provide further details on those options. I don't know why I'm having issues. Maybe it's my game. I don't have any mods or custom content. I'm in a new save file. I'm in ultra settings, so I don't know what it could be. But anyways, let's move on to some of the other stuff included in this update. Oh, another thing is actually on our screen right here. They've actually added baby hairs to this hairstyle. And I'm going to be honest, I actually really like it. I think that this looks amazing. Let me change the hair color and make it a little bit lighter. So it's a little easier to see in case you have your brightness down. There we go. I love the baby hairs. Oh, that looks so good. I'm hoping we get the option to do that for every hairstyle because I seriously love how this turned out. They have stated we have also updated the look for two of our base game hairstyles. Those specifically being YF hair long braided pull back, which is going to be this one here. Looks great. I actually really like how this one turned out. And YM hair afro medium. Okay, so now we just have to find the afro. I'm going to go and sort this by 
base game. And I think it's this one here, but I'm just going to double check and make sure that there isn't another Afro. Is it this one or is it this one? Hold on, let me go back down. I'm actually gonna try, oh, this is probably Afro large because it says Afro medium on a patch note. So this is the one that I definitely think that they should modify and it doesn't look like they have. It actually looks the same as it did the last time that I was in Create a Sim. I hope they modify this. I think it's this one here. Let me just double check and make sure there aren't any other Afro hairstyles. I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. I think it's actually going to be this one here that they've modified. It's kind of hard for me to see because I have these bright studio lights in my face right now. It looks better, but it definitely could still use some improvements, I'd say. I definitely think that they need to work on the hair colors too. The texture of it at the top, it just looks so flat. Like, do you guys see it too? Like when you look at the texture, it just looks like it's just so like smoothed over. There's no like 3D texture to it. And I know that they're probably trying to stick with the art style of the game, but it's like, it needs to have texture. It just, it needs to. They have stated that this is not the end of these improvements, but only the first steps expect more from us and of us. So there will be more coming most likely in December. So now let's jump into the game. I'm gonna give my sim a name where we're gonna explore the Hispanic Heritage Month new content that came with the game. Oh wait, let me actually check out Kratosim because they did add stuff in with that. If I miss anything in this video, I apologize. I know there's probably gonna be one thing that I forget because there always is. There is a new feminine top and a new unisex top. So let's check that out. Oh, it's these right here. So they're basically recolor. They're recolors of, wait a minute. The design is cute, but they're basically recolors of existing clothes that came with expansion packs that people paid for. Mmm, I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of like that. That's really cool. But I don't know how I feel about them taking something that someone paid for and making a recolor of it and then patching it in for free. I don't know. I think they should have did something to a base game shirt instead of, you know, a pack because not everyone owns the pack. It kind of can leave a sour taste in the mouths of those who paid for it. I kind of like the uh, designs on some of these. They're really pretty. Oh my gosh. He looks so stupid. These are cute though, aww. What do you guys think about these? What are your thoughts on these? Oh, these are cute. There's also a top for kids too, so let's check this out. Oh, here it is. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. This is cute. See, I don't mind something like this. You know, it's just a basic t-shirt and uh, it just has the new design and uh, colors on it. I like that. There's also a new tattoo as well. Well, so let's check this out. I normally don't even put tattoos on my Sims, guys. So this is gonna be a little bit different for me. I rarely ever go into this section. It's a sleeve tattoo and it's a freezer bunny. Oh, there it is. This is it right here. Oh, wow. Let me take this shirt off. That looks cool. I like that. I don't know if I would ever have my Sims wear it, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so we are in the game. Let's check out some of the new builds buy assets. No, there really isn't any like gameplay. I mean, there's a new grill and some new food, but that's pretty much it. Really no other gameplay than that, of course. There's a new dining table. Okay, let's find this one. We'll sort by base game. Oh, here it is. Mesa de Familia dining table, 315 simoleons. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. <gasps> I like it. Oh, it's so colorful. I've been wanting something like this for a while. I've been wanting to add something with a pop of color into my game. And I also like how they give us base variants of just white. And it's kind of hard to tell because of the bright lights on my face. I can't tell if that's a dark wood or if that's a black, but still I'm happy that we have two regular plain colors and a bunch of mixed color variants. I'm gonna go ahead and plop down the orange one. We have a brand new dining chair, of course. Here it is. I'm going to change the color so you guys can see. Oh, I love this. Look at the designs on the back. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, a white and a darker variant. I'm going to go ahead and get my sim an orange one. Replicate it three more times so that we have a complete table. We have a new decorative pot. I'm surprised some of those objects didn't have stars next to them. Normally, when you haven't opened it yet, or if it's a new item that you haven't placed down, 
it'll give you like a star or something. There wasn't any sort of indication of that. Oh, <gasps> that is beautiful. Not me really going into this update, getting all hype for the blotchy artifacts of the skin tones and ending up completely disappointed with that and happy with this update instead. The way that I switched. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I love this. Each one matches too. Like there's a color variant that matches for the table. Look, they have the white one and then the black one. That is so cool. So I'm gonna choose the orange one for this one. There's actually two orange ones, but I'm gonna go with this one. I love that. There is a new grill. We needed more grills, guys. There were only three base game grills. I'm so happy that a new one was patched. Oh, I love the way this looks. Yes, there are four color variants. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Not me over here getting all excited over a freaking grill, guys. What is this? There is a brand new wall mural. I'm gonna place down a long wall. Not me not spelling mural right Am I crazy? Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love how colorful it is. This is beautiful. And there is one outdoor pergola. Oh, wow. You got, I'm going to use this a lot. I am definitely going to use this a lot. I don't care what you say about this update. I am living for these objects. They are so freaking cute. Oh, I love how weathered the green one looks. You can see the edge of the wood here looks like it's like kind of weathered. Let me know what you guys think about this free patch update. What are your thoughts on the bug fixes on the Hispanic Heritage Month free content? I was seeing some comments from Hispanic simmers and I am in no place to verify this or invalidate this. I'm just simply pointing out an observation. There were many simmers in the comments mentioning how this update feels kind of stereotypical which kind of saddened me. But share your thoughts on this down below. I want to hear what you guys think. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you did enjoy this video or if you found it entertaining or informative, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment down below and follow me on social media. Links are down in the description box below. I love each and every one of you guys to the moon and back. And I will see you all next time. So long and happy simming. Bye everyone.